by seeking a deeper understanding, one attempts to glean the hidden aspects of truth. Although it may test the strength of personal conviction, the reward for enduring hardship in the pursuit of insight provides an individual with the motivation to continue the endeavor. In the hope that the undertaking contributes towards personal growth, the extent to which insight shapes the mental landscape, determining the progression of a particular interest. Whatever avenue the mind actively pursues, bestows treasure in the form of truth. While any significant breakthrough is achieved through dedication and focus, it cannot materialize without a form of worldly application. The absence of a worldly anchor to ground the information renders most of it useless. Given how deep the pool of knowledge is, without a worldly application to apply this knowledge to, it quickly fades into irrelevance. Unless knowledge has a direct correspondence with one's worldly existence, the dedicated pursuit of its attainment proves a futile endeavor. As the individual has little in the way of worldly application, that can be demonstrated by practical means. The absence of this grounding element renders a large portion of the information useless. In the interest of practical wisdom, the insights gleaned from books require a real-world application to justify the amount of time invested in the pursuit. Without a firm grounding, the knowledge is of a proverbial or mechanical nature, existing outside the boundaries of practical application. While each branch of knowledge has a particular use, outside of the niche it applies to, the information has no beneficial use. Being able to recognize the shortcomings of a particular branch of knowledge, prevents an individual from investing more time than necessary on information, which has little bearing on the practical requirements of daily life. Through recognition of the practical application corresponding to the information, one engages with, one can decide for themselves whether a pursuit is worthy of future efforts. Unless the endeavor provides something of value, the knowledge gained from hours of study does not translate to everyday life. To grow from the accumulation of knowledge requires an outlet of practical form. Otherwise, there is no captain to correct the course of the ship. Therefore, the pursuit proves to be a fruitless endeavor. Although the attainment of knowledge proves stimulating, without a worldly application it serves no practical purpose. Unless an individual can comprehend this, the countless hours spent in study will bear no worldly fruit. Without a basic comprehension of this, one can't effectively direct their focus towards a productive end. To incorporate what one has learned, knowledge requires an outlet to physically take root. The absence of a viable outlet contributes to any number of problems. The underlying reason for most of these problems stems from a failure to adapt the information. With out applying the information to enhance a particular area of one's life, the chances of retaining enough of it to effectively apply it to one's advantage diminishes with each passing day. Unless a genuine effort is made to direct the information towards a practical application, any endeavor to further one's study of it will not prove a constructive use of time, as it is simply learning for learning's sake.